Hi everyone, David here from davidmayaudio.com and in this video I want to share with you guys uh, two trips or tips I've learned uh, while creating uh, monster sounds uh, to make them a bit more realistic, uh, more dynamic. So let's jump into my project here and I'll show you guys what those tips are. All right, so on here I have uh, just my mic input and I'm just making these monster sounds just with my voice. As you can see here, I have my effects chain here. So... Um, I'll just go through each of these. So I have here is Trash by Isotope. Just add some distortion. M Transformer. Here I just picked a preset, which was the Demonizer. And next one here I have a Neutron, which is just an EQ, just to cut off a bit of the lows because it's a little bassy. Uh, Valhalla Supermassive, just to add, just to kind of warp the sound a little bit. And then I have Voice Designer, which is um, Steinberg plugin that comes with Nuendo. And I think I just detune it a little bit up and I'm not sure what else I did. I think I, I changed a bit of the um, the input here and that's about it. So if I play it now, uh, let's see what this sounds like. Test, 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 one, two, test, one, two. All right, so that is the sound of the voice. I'm just gonna, uh, what I'm using it for is I'm only using it to do some roar sounds or some growls and things like that, just with my own voice. So I'm gonna do that right now, just so you have an idea of what it sounds like. All right, so the first tip is to use a sort of tremolo or vibrato on the vocal or on a layer of the, of the sound. So for me, I'm putting it, this on the trash here. And what I'm doing is if you go to filter and you can choose any note here. So I chose this note up here for, uh, you can go to modulation and then I click on LFO. I did a square shape so that it, it just bounces from uh, high here to low. And what I did is, so it starts up here and it modulates the sound. I'm, I'm putting it as like all the way down to about hundred Hertz. And what it does is when you play it, so I'm just going to play it. So you hear, ah. you can you see, can see you can see the points lighting up. And that is the speed of the modulation. So if I make it a bit faster, you'll see it, everything kind of, they're flashing because they're going back and forth really fast. So if we hear that. Right, so you can hear the voice uh, basically wobbling up like really fast as I'm, I'm moving this frequency band here. So this frequency uh, fader, what it's doing is just increasing the speed that it's uh, modulating this band. So it's using this um, EQ shape and it's cutting. So right now it's boosting the highs and then as it modulates, it goes down and cuts the lows. And then I'm just making it speed up and slow down with this fader, how fast it's going to go from up to down, up and down. So... Uh, yeah, so this is the first trick. This adds a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, glutteral sound or, or throat sound. It makes it a bit more realistic. And what I like to do is when I'm recording uh, is to play with this fader as I'm recording. So let's say I was recording here. So as you saw, like I'm playing with the, 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 the fader here, bringing it up and down as I'm doing the growl. And that just makes it a bit more realistic. And I'm doing it as I'm uh, recording and making the sounds live in real time. So this is the first trick that I want to share with you guys. All right, so the next thing I want to share is that you can do something similar. This is actually not the second trick. This is just another way of possibly doing this. Uh, so I'm going to add an effects track with a tremolo on a uh, set. So I'm going to I'm going to turn off my isotope thing uh, track here. And we're going to go to our mixer. And we can see, here it is. This is my tremolo track. And so let's hear what it sounds like with the send. So right now I'm sending audio, so my voice, over to a tremolo effect. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> As you can hear, you can get a similar effect. So that's another way workaround that you can do for uh, this trick. 
All right, so for the second tip, you're basically doing the same technique or a similar technique, but with a different parameter, and that's going to be with the uh, pitch or uh, the detune here. So what I'm going to do is the exact same thing. I'm just going to record my, my voice and, and play around with the detune as I'm recording and performing the sound of a roar or growl or whatever. <laughs> And as you can hear, just doing that detune adds a bit more realism to the voice because it, it changes pitch and it's very light. Like I'm not doing a lot of detune. Like I'm not going up to 100. I'm, I'm staying between, you know, 20% plus or minus 20%. And uh, I'm trying to stay within this small uh, range so that it, it it's a bit more realistic. And just doing that with the change of the sound of your voice, with the change of the tuning, and then also with the vibrato or the, uh, the modulation here uh, in Trash, it just adds that extra glutteral sound to the voice and just it makes it a bit more realistic a bit more yeah a bit more realistic like it, it could be a real creature so uh, those are the two tips i have for you guys i hope you guys found that useful um yeah let me know if you guys use these tips or if you guys have any other tips that you want to share with uh, people with how to make uh monster sounds uh, sound a bit more realistic uh, and feel free to leave them in the comments below and i think that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye